Published 9.59 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 28th of March 2018, updated 11.07 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 28th of March 2018 Remarkable video shows a Cold War nuclear bunker restored to how it would have been on the day it closed, after 13 years painstaking work. The Caledonian headquarters, in Dundee, was capable of keeping 100 Royal Observer Corps rock staff alive for at least a month in the event of all-out nuclear war with the Soviet Union, sealed underground, members of the ROC, a civilian defense organization, were tasked with collecting data from smaller monitoring stations scattered across Scotland. The massive 30 feet 9.1 meters deep headquarters was abandoned in 1991 when the Soviet Union collapsed and fell into disrepair over the next 14 years. A Cold War nuclear bunker in Dundee has been restored to how it would have been on the day it closed, after 13 years painstaking work. A charity, called 28 Group Observed, has installed original Perspex boards in the command center of the bunker, with brightly colored maps pictured outlining potential blast sites across Scotland. The Caledonian headquarters was capable of keeping 100 Royal Observer Corps raw, staff alive for at least a month in the event of all-out nuclear war with the Soviet Union. Above, computer equipment from the 1990s in the bunker AWB-1400 carrier control point pictured would have been used to broadcast fallout messages in the local area. They used to test the warning system along the talking clock phone line because it was always running those sealed underground were tasked with collecting data from smaller monitoring stations scattered across Scotland. Pictured, an old telephone switchboard the massive 30 feet 9.1 meters deep headquarters area circle was abandoned in 1991 and fell into disrepair over the next 14 years such was the level of secrecy of the site. Only a pipe and a black box can be seen poking out of the ground. The bunker features authentic uniforms from the time, medicines, a 4-minute warning system, Geiger counters, and equipment. Essential for detecting nuclear blasts and the fallout the charity behind the restoration project, the 28 Group, say the bunker is unique in Scotland, as previous Royal Observer Corps bunkers based in Ayr, Inverness, Aberdeen and Edinburgh were demolished, now a group of volunteers, who have been working on the restoration project since 2005, have shared a fascinating video of the bunker as their efforts near completion. The charity, called 28 Group Observed, have installed original Perspex boards in the command center of the bunker, with brightly colored maps outlining potential blast sites across Scotland. The bunker also features authentic uniforms from the time, medicines, a 4-minute warning system, Geiger counters, and equipment essential for detecting nuclear blasts and the fallout. Old medical supplies, including glass syringes, dressings and bottles of medicine inside the underground chamber one room is filled with whiteboards built into a long blue desk, where bunker staff would write information relayed to them by smaller posts across Scotland the desk would receive a constant stream of information, and update the rotatable boards every five minutes or so among the fascinating items found in the bunker was this four-minute early warning system air siren Gavin Saxby, project manager for the 28 Group, said today, we are very close to being finished, and we are very excited. We hope to be done by around September or October this year, but we still have to do some painting, and have carpets fitted on some of the levels in their prime. Twelve of the 29 Rock HQs had fully underground bunkers with dormitories, a canteen, communications, plant, control and generator rooms, toilets, air filtering and a decontamination room. The rest had a surface bunker, with walls made of meter-thick reinforced concrete which could stand what the military called a near-miss, a two-megaton bomb falling eight miles away. Along with, with hundreds of tiny underground monitoring posts big enough for just three people, they would have plotted nuclear fallout and new blasts, sending their findings to secure phone lines to civil servants in 11 subterranean regional outposts. But they were far from perfect, and their protection may have ended up being sketchy at best. Within months of the bunkers entering service in 1961, the Soviet Union tested the world's most powerful nuclear weapon at 58 megatons 24 times more powerful than those which would safely hit 8 miles away. YouTuber Urbex Puerico got permission to film inside the forgotten bunker, touring dormitories, hallways, and control rooms inside the three-story underground building, located mere meters away from Craigie Barn Road. The clip begins with Pejarico exploring an office area filled with survival manuals and gas masks, with large, danger, and warning signs visible on the walls. Pejarico and a friend explore the long blue hallways of the expansive bunker, discovering old uniforms, the four-minute early warning system, and an old telephone. They discover old desktop computers from the 1990s, an air raid signal, and an old telephone switchboard. 
Unable to resist, Pejarico fiddles with the jack plugs pretending to connect calls, joking in a posh 1940s accent, oh yes, just patching you through. Hold the line, the pair then stumble onto a room filled with whiteboards built into a long blue desk, where bunker staff would write information relayed to them by smaller posts across Scotland. The desk would receive a constant stream of information, and update the boards every five minutes or so. The bunker also have old medical supplies, including glass syringes, dressings and bottles of medicine. The pair then go to the main control room, which the 28th group restored to as close as possible to the state it would have been in in 1991 when the bunker was decommissioned. The control room has large perspex boards with a map of Scotland and bright flashes of color spread across the map, showing potential attack points. The clip ends when Urbex leaves the bunker, showing the extent of the base's secrecy, as only a pipe and a black box can be seen poking out of the ground. YouTuber Urbex Puerico got permission to film inside the forgotten bunker, touring dormitories, hallways, and control rooms inside the three-story underground building, located mere meters away from Craigie Barn Road. The 28 group say that they were lucky to get many of the unique features like the Perspex glass panels in the control room, which cost £3,500 to replicate but were placed in original wooden frames uniforms in the Cold War defense station. The bunker would also serve as a means to record nuclear blasts and the aftermath in the event of a nuclear war, he said today, the 28th group are doing a great job of restoring the ROC headquarters as close to how it would have looked in 1991 when it was decommissioned, it was used during the Cold War as a defense station, and as a means of recording nuclear blasts and the aftermath in the event of a nuclear war, what I have shown in. The video is only some of the amazing gear they have amassed, which is all the real deal from the time period, and I think it's only right that these places and items should be preserved for future generations to see firsthand. The 28 group say that they were lucky to get many of the unique features like the Perspex glass panels in the control room, which cost £3,500 to replicate but were placed in original wooden frames. Gavin Saxby, project manager for the 28 group, said today, We are very close to being finished, and we are very excited. We hope to be done by around September or October this year, but we still have to do some painting, and have carpets fitted on some of the levels. We have been very lucky getting hold of some of the equipment and getting it all in working order. We have a carrier control point with the two red phones and a black phone, which is a warning system. We are getting that back into working order, they used to test the warning system along the talking clock phone line, because it was always running, and we are getting ours hooked up to be able to stream on the internet. It is really unique to us, I don't think anyone else has that. 28 group hopes to open the bunker to the public in the near future, a dormitory in the Caledonian HQ. 28 group hopes to open the bunker to the public in the near future.